good with an idle. Fuel cap. Are you serious? Yeah. Security system. Goodness, take a look at this storm. <laughs> Good old monsoon storm. I wish we had more of these types of storms here in Utah. But that clearly is not the case. Holy mackerel. Can't even see out the flipping rear view mirror, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, so this is Gabe's project today. He has a vinyl wrap and a tent company. Yeah, I guess. So it was funny because uh, when I was first looking at this thing, not surprising, but you may notice the speedometer is in kilometers an hour. Because that'd be very funny if the car could actually do 160 in the first place. But look, it says KMH. So I went back here, did some investigating. There's, an, there's a sticker on the back for Mexico. And then the license plate is from my neck of the woods. So, yeah. Go ahead again. Yeah, it's a cool car. <laughs> Pretty neat. Yeah, it has a sink. Looks like it's from the 80s. Do you know the year? Okay. I know it's like a V2, I think is what you call it. Version 2. Oh, wait. The engine? Maybe? Wait, huh? What kind of engine does it have? It's got a, I think it's like a 2.0 liter. Boxer. Ah. Air cooled. Yep. It looks like uh, right now Gabe's doing more taking apart. Well, no, he, he took this apart. Oh, he did? Okay. Yeah, I'm just taking it. In. Hey, it makes it easier for you to tint in the end anyways. Yeah, he, he was really helpful with that. I'm really happy that you're like, yeah. What are you doing in my kitchen? <laughs> We're gonna put these inside. In my kitchen? Do you have a tape? Yeah, rotting peaches here five seconds ago. I think this is better. How about I, I give you an idea? Table in the get, outside? Get a table from downstairs from the from the storage and put it in the garage, even two tables, <laughs> and set up your workspace. All right, so the first thing Gabe is doing is he took uh, Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo, put a little bit into this uh, bottle. It smells really good. It smells really good, he says, and then he's filling up this bottle. That's the only reason why I use it. It smells good. Is it good as dish soap? Oh, way better. Saltier, fruitier, babier. No, it makes the glass like a baby's bottom. Yeah. So Gabe's uh, starting by pulling out the tent. This is 35%. So with, with that. With, with that. Okay, you get the picture. So he's going to take it and then cut it to the length he needs. And how many, how long have you been doing this? Um, probably like two months. Two months. Didn't you do this to your WRX or did you have it done? It was, it was already done when I bought the thing. Oh. It was really dark and I didn't like it. But. And do you put the tint on the outside of the vehicle or the inside? You put it on the inside. See? So that's, that's important. Remember that. 
you uh, model it with the outside. You trim it and everything from the outside, but then you peel it and put it on the inside. Nice. Yep. So as you can see, he's just using the inside of the the trim, and he's going around and cutting the tint down to to uh, size. So he finished up that cut. Okay, so that's one. I've never tinted windows like this before, so this is all new to me, but... you never what? I've never tinted windows like this before. Oh, I see, yeah. Because it's those weird uh, RV-type windows, as you can see we're back there. Yeah. But I'm really happy you took them out, bro. I'm going to my life while I'm here. I know, but I love I love vent windows. I know, right? Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring square bodies back and carbureted engines. Mm, maybe not the carbureted engines. Ah, we, come on. We can do without those. But the sound, though, the sound. I don't think it's the carburetor that changes the sound. I think I think it's just the camshafts they put in there. That's part of it. There's a lot of stuff that makes an engine sound different because no two engines sound the same. That's true. It could be lifters too. It's, mean, lift, it's the lifters, it's the cams, it's the exhaust system, carbureted or fuel injected. Yeah. Uh, is it though? Carbureted and fuel injected? Yeah, they're completely different. Oh, and they're, they're different, yeah, but what they change the noise? Yeah, they do. Okay. You said you heard my grandfather's engine clip. Yeah. That was also with an old muffler and different, just a more aggressive camshaft, I think. And I think with, with carburetor engines, they just dump the gasoline in there. So they need to have a lot of air being allowed into the engine, and they need a lot of time for that exhaust to get out because it's so thick, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, that's why it's got to be more aggressive, I believe. And that's why it just sounds mean, just because it's... It's got a longer cycle on those cam loads. That's what I think. So pretty. And this is ceramic or? Yeah. So that, isn't that what keeps heat from getting in? Yeah. This stuff is the expensive stuff. And you're only, that's quite a good deal you're charging me. I know. Because <laughs> I paid $200 for my three rear. How much did I pay? Ah, oh, gosh, I don't even remember. I'm trying to take off all the little bits of dust that might be there. Please note what he just said. Why? This is just how you get all the impurities out. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah. All right, and then here goes the first one. He's going to be starting on the top. Well, I need to make sure that the liner's on the right side. Because sometimes I'll cut these pieces and then the liner will be on the wrong side. So I just like trash the whole piece. That sucks. It's kind of silly of me. Okay. That piece is garbage. <laughs> Unless if you want to tint the windows of a Hot Wheel. <laughs> Could you imagine? Hey, the like, the absurdity of like the RC car world now is just ridiculous. How popular it is now. RC car? Have you noticed that? No, I have not. People are like, RC car or is it real? And it's like, well, obviously it's an RC car and obviously you don't have any money. You know what I mean? It's like, get a real car. Exactly. Oh, thanks mom. See how much better this is? Nobody's it's, in the middle, you know, nobody's disturbing you. Do you feel how hot it is though? Huh? Do you feel how hot it is? You can put a fan on. Yeah. I feel like I'm in communist China working yeah, in this. <laughs> well, because I don't want dust going. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, honestly. I'm just grateful. <laughs> the thing is, at this point, if I screw up one edge, 
script the rest. And she slides the trash, you know. All right, so Gabe just took the thing off and then uh, turned the the outside part of the glass in. And now he's peeling the, the, the uh, strip off from the sticky side. And then he's uh, moist, getting it nice and moist. This is the most sketchiest part. Yes, it is. Look how smooth, like it just fit in like a glove. He sprays it, takes the squeegee. Now he's just gonna squeegee all the bubbles out. Isn't that a more time consuming process? In wrapping? Hmm? Yeah, if this was wrapped, I'd, I'd have had this done by, I'd have this entire window done by now, but. That's just how it is. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. Gabe likes to do wraps. That's pretty nice. It's on my wrap up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, uh, while he's doing that, I guess I'll go up front and then show you what his car looks like. There we go. Wiping off the, the window with the micro, microfiber rag. Yeah, I've never quite done this before, but this feels like the right thing to do. That's so wet. Usually the water just runs off the window. But for this one, like, it just pulls up on the inside. So. Alrighty. Alrighty. There we go. Okay, now he's taking a little heat gun and drying the tint and he's getting all the moisture out of the ceramic tint. And he's attempting to. At least attempting to. And then he's uh, squeegeeing it out, too. That's just super interesting. I think you'll run into an interesting uh, place on the passenger front window because there's a chip in it. Yeah, it's a ton of them, actually. We, uh, we were looking at that earlier. And we're like, well, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we can so is he going to use this van for camping? Um, I guess so. He's got two of them. Oh, he's got two. What's the other one look like? It's, uh, it's newer. It's a newer Volkswagen van. Uh-huh. Oh, is it the next body after this one? I think so, yeah. Okay. It looks like uh, this end of it's going pretty good. No, well, far from good looking from afar, but a far from good looking. He'll take some time. But yeah, we'll check back in in a few minutes. Alrighty, what's the toast? Oh, the knob. Yeah. All right, so now he's finished up the uh, three vent windows right there, not the vent windows. Other vent windows just for, not for the driver's door. And he did one of these windows. Uh, we didn't record the last one because we wanted to see how well he'd do. So now he's sprayed it and he's gonna squeegee it. And uh, uh, didn't you run a razor along it just to make it a little smoother? Yes. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Well, this one, like, this one's pretty clean. Yeah, but still, this shows on how to work with older windows, so that's kind of important. Yeah. Not that I'll ever do this again, ever. Because it mm. sucks. You're doing it tomorrow. I'm doing it tomorrow. To another Volkswagen bus. Yeah, I know. Why did I agree to this? Money. Experience. True. This guy literally paid for... Half of my roll, 35%, which is expensive. And I'm very grateful for it because I made a lot of money off of this so far. So I'm pretty happy with it. Look how well this first one turned out. The new one, I mean, first one, other one. So before, after. And it was hecking hard. Too. Yeah, it was. It was hard. Just slicing around it because this knob right here gets in the way. Yeah, no, was... not just the knob, but the, the trim here too. Yeah, and now you have to work with this, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Yes, I do. I don't know why it's still... All right. 
We're gonna trim it on this edge here. Oh jeez. This tent. Um, it looks dirty, but it's not. Shape is Betty with the rusty razor. Shape is Betty with the rusty razor. That was really funny. You ever heard that song? Mm -hmm. It's very popular in Glee Scout Ranch. Is it really? Was, yeah. I thought you despised that place. No, I despise Brick Oven. <laughs> Brick Oven, I forgot you worked there. Yeah, that's the place I despise. I love Hinkley Scout Ranch. And I just. People at Brick Oven. Uh, the employees there despised it too. Okay, for the record, I despise Brick Oven South Jordan, which now they're closed. Brick Oven Provo, though? Yeah, that's good. Is it though? Have you been there? I've never been to Brick Oven in my life. Well, go there sometime. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Via, 31, clear. Via 313 Pizzeria is very good too. Which one? Via 313 in Provo. Just went there last weekend with a bunch of missionaries. So now, as you can see, he's having a much easier time cutting the edge because it's a open edge. It's not inside. It's just like a little drop off, like a cliff. Mm, I guess it would be easier if things weren't there. Yeah. Mercury's going to sound like that in a few weeks. Now he's just finishing up, trimming it. It's like one little piece to grab. Focus, focus, yeah. There we go. I guess that's the idea. Alright, now we can peel it. Put it in. Sweet. I just hope it looks decent. Here it comes, it comes off. I'll just bring my GoPro next time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know why I don't bring that every time. Because it's easier to use this, but then the GoPro would be easier to use for other applications. I feel like the GoPro is really good quality. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was awesome. Thank oh, you. Here we go. And then he sticks it on. He's just getting ready and he's uh he's getting ready to do the driver's window so he just uh rolled it up this is going to be a little challenging in my opinion not that i know about anything about window tint but i know that you i know that you need a flush surface but as you can see that's a finger right here is a divot right here there's a divot too there's a bunch of these divots all over the place from uh, wear and tear over the years. We did find out that this uh, van is in fact originally from Mexico. It's a, it's a 1982. You don't want to focus tonight. And then, has a Mexico license plate back here. And it was last registered in 2015. So I don't know if this is the state of Mexico or if it's the country of Mexico, because I know that uh, Mexico has individual states. And then of course, has a Colorado license plate too. And it's here in Utah now, so what a, what, what's, what a journey for this thing. That's the third vehicle you're doing for this guy. I know they have another Volkswagen. Yeah. Yep, another van. After this one. And then he's got this uh, uh, Lexus, like an SUV. Ah. Uh, so as you can see, this one, well, this one might actually be fairly simple compared to the other one you, he did. Yeah, well, I'd rather do a modern window than this one. This it's all one, This one be like a, this one will be a little more normal compared to the other ones, though. Mm-hmm. I would say that. Probably me next time to bring my GoPro. <laughs> so I can at least mount things better.
Alrighty, well, that's going to be it for the night. We got about, let's see, how many did we do? We did like, oh boy, we, <laughs> we did about two windows, but they were like smaller ones. So we did like three slat windows, two vent windows, and the driver's window. But that's going to be it for the night because Gabe's had a pretty long day. I've had a long day too, so. All right, so we're back the next day. Um, we're about two hours past the uh, deadline. And uh, the only reason why is because Gabe likes to do quality work. So is this the first one you started? Huh? Or is this the last one you did last night? Oh, when you this working window? On? This is the second one. So this is the second one he did, but one of the problems is, is that this glass is about 39 years old. So with it being 39 years old, uh, there's lots of grime stuff and crap like that on the windows. And where these windows go... So this, this, these are the slat windows, so one two, one, two, and three. You may notice that there's a stove right here. So let's say you put like chorizo in, splashes over the vent. So there's probably a lot of that crap on there too. So Gabe started over on these on those windows, but we'll show you the rest of the vehicle. Oh. I'm fired. All right, so he did this, looks pretty good. But even then, uh, like I said, the, this, this glass is 39 years old, so it's ancient, such as that. And then here's the second window, and then here's the two side windows. And then here's the back window. Oh yeah, while I'm here, I might as well, sh I might as well show you the, uh, I know they were hydraulic loaded. Might as well show you what the engine looks like. Okay. So you think it'd be very hard to work on the engine, on this engine, but look how tiny it is, and there's lots of room in this engine compartment. So that's kind of cool and stuff like that. Yeah, you gotta love the uh, the lumberjack plaid and the lime green. And here's the interior. Since the, the uh, shift pattern on this thing is quite interesting in my opinion. Yeah, this interior is quite mint, like no cracks, no nothing. That's almost as if it's restored. Oh, it was restored. Cool. Yeah. Oh look, they even have the old uh, bug, cap, bug car hubcaps. 